A bit of health now. Coordinating Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Ali Pate, says the federal government is committed to working with state governments and community leaders to ensure that every Nigerian child gets the life-saving tool of vaccines as well as treatment for other diseases. The health minister disclosed this during a visit to primary health care centers in Nasarawa State. Health correspondent Kemi Balogun has more. This tour of some primary health care centers in Nasra State by the federal government and a team from the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization is part of efforts to put mechanisms in place and strengthen the system ahead of the phase-by-phase -phase roller campaign to reach zero-dose children. At the Itsukaru Palace in Nasra State, this gathering of government, global partners and traditional rulers are all in agreement that more needs to be done to ensure that there is a reduction in the number of zero-dose children across the country. Vaccines work and they're the most cost-effective tools. Among the most cost-effective tools, they're safe and they work. And they've protected many children from diseases like measles, like polio, diarrheal diseases, pneumonia. But there are still many children that we miss and that we need to do more to ensure that we reduce those who are completely missed, the zero children. In order to demonstrate how well, how his leadership has helped Nasarawa State, Nasarawa State came first when it comes to COVID-19 vaccination. And the potential is by 2030 to save 5.6 million people's lives. And that, that does not even exclude many other potential vaccines such as malaria that we can bring to this country. Nigeria accounts for the largest number of zero-dose children in the world, with more than two million children still missing. Traditional leaders have continued to play a vital role in getting communities to key into health interventions through synergy with government and their communities, using advocacy, mobilization, and trust building. We plan to further intensify the engagement of our religious leaders to facilitate access to eligible children for immunization and other primary health care services in security compromised areas. We in Nasra State are a bit lucky. Uh, we have very minimal of such places. This kind of partnerships has helped to achieve success in tackling polio, and this campaign is expected to be no different. Kemi Balugun, TVC News, Abuja.